And on the outer half of the plate, Eric Gauthier, home plate umpire, took a little an effective change of speeds that makes that fastball look that much faster as Sotrace goes after a pitch outside the strike zone. Looking over at third base. Full count, and that's a swing and a miss, and a strikeout. They were talking about Smith and really raving about him, thinking that was the best that they have seen all food. Lined into right, and that's going to go all the way to the wall, and Hester might be able to score on this. Nope, they're going to throw up the stop sign for him, and that's going to be a double for Harrelson. On the shortstop, Jeffers, and... Bazell retired, but coming home from third base is Nolan Hester. I think that you get a guy with a power arm. There's a shot into center field. That's going to bring home the second run in this inning for Tech. RBI by Green. And it's but not the case with Gavin Cash. He is outstanding. Ball in the dirt and a throw to second base. That's a safe. Look at and Cash is able to work it for a walk. That's a good He's got a great staff. Wasn't that long ago they played in the national championship game. There's a swing and miss. Break baseball, college baseball programs. This one's hit back up the middle off the bat of Lopez. And Jeffers throws out Lopez. Exactly. Which, which end do we hold it with, right? <laughs> Beautiful bat, though. If you don't have one of these, it's a definitely a collector's item. Coming down with the ball, left fielder Hester. And the best thing pitchers can do is learn how to butt. Marty, the hitter, and he goes around according to first base umpire Ron Teague. He rings him up. Five of the six batters he has faced have been first pitch strikes right to the first baseman Cash. Talked about him with the great leather, and he smile to your face when you can come to the ballpark. There's a shot into right center field off the bat of Dylan Carter, and Carter. Burns opposite field into right. Pace will get it back into the infield, but two on with nobody out of the bottom of the second for down here. He leans over to the top of the order now for the Red Raiders, and this is hit into right field on the nose, but Pace is there. Staying put at second base is Carter. You know, a lot of starts to replace. Hit into right field. Pace is going back. It's up against the wall. Call it a ground rule double. RBI. Here's Bazell. Bazell is going to bring another run home as Jeffers retires Bazell. Bazell. Work to do. He's that pitch count is rising now. Marty in center field, shielding his eyes from the sun, and he can't make the play. He had trouble with it, and going to third base is Green. That'll bring home Harrelson. Let's hope that. Marty is okay out in center field. Yeah, it looked like Marty was camped under the ball, and I think that ball may have hit him in the face. Uh, he's got uh, some blood come out of his uh, nose. Boy, it's just streaming out. Man, that is so unfortunate. Well, we talked about this, uh, you know, Bluebird Sky today. Yeah, you can see him kind of turn his head at the last moment. Yeah, that ball went, went off his glasses. You can see his sunglasses popping off his face there, and Into left field. Flores, he's got it. And that'll retire the side. Would have liked. Popped up, left side. Or right side, beg your pardon. And this is going to be a cash because I'm able to make the play. It's that sun again. Yeah. A leadoff double. Back up the middle. Voigt. They've got. Van Remortal in a rundown, and that's going to be out. Bazell applying the tag at third base. And he gets him. I got him. And that's going to be a hit by pitch. Full count. And he lost him. Burton into right. That'll bring home two runs. Two-run single for Ted Burton, and Michigan is on the board. 5-2, Texas Tech. Really use that fastball well. Into left. Flores, RBI single, bringing home Sotrace. And going from first to third is Burton. Heads up base running by Ted Burton.
the game started, but taking over for Jake Marty. And that ball's going to get away from the catcher, Maxi. The play at the plate. He is out. Burton is gone at home plate. Take the chance and make the diving tag. And right now the call is out at the plate. Burton. They're going to look at this. Yeah, I Great job by the Wolverines to get back in this game. And, and he's going to end up walking him. Through 55 pitches, only 27 for strikes. There's a bunt on the right side. This is a beauty. Does it stay fair? It does. Dead in the ball. That's going to be an infield bunt single for Carter. The professional baseball there from the Red Raiders. Up the middle. Shortstop Jeffers will field. Could this be two? No. RBI ground out. Gauthier said no. Now it's ball four. That ball sit to him. He might come home. His positions as such. And Harrelson swings and misses. That's a big strike. Gazella waits. Puts it in play. Grounds it to the shortstop. Jeffers and will go to short way. Gazella fielder's choice. And Ted Burton leads off. Backhanded by the third baseman, Bazell on to first. Good play. Burton runs well, and at his handout, well, he grabbed the ball, but the beer went. Use that breaking ball effectively. And he again. got him to swing and miss. Strike out. Bazell gave himself up, put the ball in play, and got a couple of RBI ground outs. Strikes out here for the first down in the bottom of the sixth. Fly ball into right. And that's going to be misplayed by Pace. And Green on his way to third base. There is the sun in the sky again. Trying to put yourself in position, but uh, maybe once a game, but not three times. Pitts is going to be under it in center field, but tagging and coming home is Green for the seventh run for Texas Tech. And that's exactly right. Short hop by Voigt. Nice pick. Across the diamond. Maxi retired. Five ERA. Sophomore, six foot right hander, and the pitch. Line in the left. Hester reaches back and makes the catch right there at the warning track. One for two for yeah. Mortal. Yeah. Sending Carter, the center fielder, back. Carter is going to be there. Racing back to first base is the runner. And he shoots this one to center field. Carter, he's there again. Got a pinch hitter for Texas Tech. It's Ty Coleman, and Coleman is hit by a pitch. First pitch delivered by Cleveland. And after that, it wasn't until the triple by Green. And that's going to be a balk. Step was out of order. But. Carter bunting again. And Crawford. And that's going to be a walk. Puts it on the right side of the infield. This is going to get a run home. Hester. Sacrifice bunt. RBI brings home. It's just great team hitting and team situation hitting. Harrelson. Goes after a pitch outside the strike zone. Rath, who came on as a pinch runner, now at second base. And Parrish against Jeffers, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. Assessment of this tournament so far. This one's bounced into right field. It's a base hit. Well, first hit for Sotrich in the tournament. Already have. Shortstop flips to second for one on the first. Only getting the out at second base. Burns to McGarth. Good deep into the postseason. Texas Tech certainly if uh, they continue to play like they're playing. Bazell looks to second, but he'll only have one play and it's at first. Scoring from third base, Jeffers. Sophomore. From Huttenburg, Indiana. And that's a Bazell into right field and slipping Velasquez. That's going to go to the wall. 
Fazell rounding second on his way to third. And they're going to rule that a triple. And unfortunately, it just... Come on. Michigan playing in double play depth up the middle. And Gabe Sotris yeah. about to make the call. And intentionally. No, they're gonna walk. Yeah, they're going to walk cash. I thought that... After a lengthy review, yeah. said he was out, and Maxi strikes out swinging. That's a big for 11. Yeah. That's a shot over the shortstop. Jeffers head. This is going to bring home two runs. Magar, the two-run single in Texas Tech in double digits today. It's amazing. That was an amazing because <laughs> there's a shot off of Horwettel, and Carter is going to be safe over at first base. The bases are loaded. I don't know if that pitch is going to get called a strike when it backs up like that. Into left, and Flores has it, and the Texas in the bottom half of the inning. Longo drives the base hit down the left field side. This is going to kick into the corner. Longo is going to go to second base, and he'll stand with a double to lead off the top of the ninth inning for the Wolverines. Parrish, the... Tech reliever trying to get this game completed. It would be a save for him since he'll end up with three innings if he does get out of this ninth inning. Into right field and coming on to make the running catch is Harrelson. Staying put at third base. Longo and there's two away. Stanton flying out. And he shoots this one into left field and this is going to be up against the wall. It's going to be stuck. Foul bring home two runs. And Jeffress on his way to third with a two-run triple. Can get on here, and then Michigan thinks, well, we can get our tying run to the plate. Ball gets away from the catcher, Maxi, and sliding in safely is Jeffress. Well, that is the second cross-up in this at-bat. Can point to in this game. And that's going to be a walk to Sotres. The lead at first. Swung on and missed. And that's the ball game. Red Raiders, 10 runs and 11 hits, and they avenge their loss from yesterday. Yeah, 